sun is full of energy. That is why it is so hot. Oh, hey, how did we get here? Doesn't matter. Hey, look, there's a tiger. Uh, did you know tigers are a solid? Did you? Ah, nice, refreshing juice. That reminds me, juice is a liquid. It's so hot. Hey look, there's vapor coming out of my drink. That reminds me, vapor is a gas. What on earth are we doing today? Is there a reason we're bouncing around yapping about solids, liquids and gases? Why yes, did you know that four main states are made Solid, liquid, gas and blood. Solid molecules are packed together and hold the shape. Liquid molecules move slowly. Matter is all around you. In a gas, the molecules are far apart and they vibrate. Liquid takes shape of their container. Matter is everything, even your fart. It is a gas. Liquid is runny. Matter is molecules, and molecules are atoms. And just to finish off, here's a demonstration. Baking soda, which is a solid, and add a liquid, which is vinegar, they both react and make a gas, which is carbon dioxide. Welcome to the lab. Today we're going to be learning about molecules. Solid, liquid and gases are made out of molecules. Inside a molecule is an atom. Inside an atom is a proton, neutron and electron. Photons and neutrons are the biggest part of an atom. By adding and removing energy you can make a solid, liquid or a gas. If you melt ice it turns, it goes through a physical change and if and turns into water. Gas molecules move faster than solid and liquid molecules. Solid molecules are packed together and can only move a little bit. Gas molecules are sometimes really stinky. And li liquid molecules aren't so tightly packed and they fly. Goodbye and see you next time. And that is why you do not go in a tiger's cage while they're eating. And do not, at any circumstance, do not bring in a bucket of raw meat. A mistake that we shouldn't have made. When will we learn? That's right. Oh yeah, next scene. Hi, today me and Sharice are going to be scientists and we're going to wear some lab coats so we can blend in at the lab. Three years old. Sorry about this, we just need to put on our lab coats. Don't want to look crazy while we're in there. Okay. Now, let's go and take a look at these crazy scientists. Hello. Hello, hello. I love my news. Oh, it's so um, awesome, hello. my news. Thank you. Hello. Oh, sorry hello. about that. Hello, I'm Professor Hunter, and this is... Professor Erin! And we're going to be teaching you all about the properties of matter. Before we started, I was wondering, what is matter made of? Well, matter is made of tiny little molecules, but we're not here to talk about that. <laughs> what are properties of matter? Well, properties of matter is kind of hard to explain, so let's do a wrap. One, two, a one, one two, two, three, three now, properties.
Oblick! What is Oblick? Well, it is... This is a tiny tiny liquid. You're correct! All you need is water and corn flour so it can be solid and a liquid. Wow! So you are going to show us some oobleck? Of course we are! Yes, first we need some corn flour. So you don't need flour, is that right? No, just, just corn, corn flour. flour. Yeah. Okay, I'll put a little water in it. Who's going to... Do you want to put your hands in and mix it a okay. little bit? No, don't mix quickly. Let me put some more in. Okay. It mix that up. It feels really funny. I know. It can be a liquid and a solid. Ooh. Really? Yeah. So when you add energy to it, it is a solid, and when you don't, it turns to a liquid. So that's mm. like what I said earlier, it's non tiny liquid? Yes it is. So, just say you grab it bit, you have to give it lots of energy, and look, it's still, but then when you let it go, it's Dropping nice it and liquidy. Well, that's enough, that's fine. Got <gasps> so, when you add energy, it's a solid, but when you let it go and energy is taken away, it's a liquid? Solid. And then, liquid. And by the way, I've done some research about the, the properties that can be seen or measured without changing the chemical structure of matter. And I can add to that. The properties of matter can be changed by chemical changes and physical changes. Matter is everything in the Whoa! world! Really? But what about the crime? I know, it's everything in the world. Matter is everything. Scientists put everything into three states of matter to make it easier to understand. So, we need to know more about the properties of matter so we can identify the substance. So substances react to other chemicals? Yes, you're correct. Well, that's all for today. Wait, I've got a test for you. Are these solid, liquids or gases? Well, Neither. They're pippies. You <laughs> call these pippies? Changes? We know what a chemical change is. What is a chemical change? Come with us. You must have your own lab coat <laughs> while you're here. <coughs> and your own name tag. Well, we'll be getting back to what a chemical change is. Well, a chemical change, change happens, happens when the, the atoms in the molecule are moved around. Or when, when the, the atoms are added or taken away. A chemical change happens when the metal, metal gets moisture on it. A chemical change happens when you bake a cake. Do the molecules change in a chemical change? Molecules, molecules do change, change in a chemical, chemical change. change. Um, is it irreversible? Some can, some can't. What are some examples of a chemical change? Examples of a chemical change. Burning wood, dissolving salt in water, cooking in an egg, exploding dynamite, moldy sheet. Do the molecules change in a chemical change? Molecules do change in a chemical change. Is it irreversible? Some, some can, some can't. Can. What do the substances react to? Substances, substances react to water, water to, to air, air, to acids, and, and other, other substances. substances. That was great. great. That, that was awesome. Now we'll show you a demonstration. demonstration. Now we'll show you a chemical change. You may as well need these. You may put it in. Are you 
really quick. The two substances reacted together to make a gas called carbon dioxide. Gas needs lots of space, so it escaped and popped the lid off. We know lots of a chemical, chemical change. Let's break down, down the rules of a chemical change. Let's go, 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 chemical change. The chemical change happens when the atoms in a molecule are moved around or when the atoms are added or taken away. Physical change happens when matter changes size, shape and form. The molecules in physical change spread out everywhere. Chocolate is a physical change because it melts in the bright sunny day. And other physical changes like and physical change is easy to see and there are other physical changes like breaking a bottle, squeezing an orange and chewing chewing gum and other stuff like that. Here is my demonstration. Okay, hello. I am going to do a physical change. Here is a sign. Solid chocolate, and I'm gonna apply energy, and I'm gonna heat it up. Okay, I am gonna apply heat to my solid to turn into a liquid. Okay. So the molecules and um, the chocolate um, move around faster and spread out because it turns it into a liquid. mounted it so it turned my solid chocolate into a liquid. Did you know if you burn chocolate it stays a solid and it is an irreversible change? Pop the popcorn in the pot. Got it, got it. What temperature? Put medium on to high heat. Popcorn baby popcorn in a lab? What does that have to do with energy? Popcorn needs energy to make it pop. The moisture inside the kernel heats up to make a gas. Ga the gas needs lots of space, so it needs to escape. This makes the popcorn go inside out. Oh no! It's class for Lara and Quinn! I forgot that it was class, plus I did not want in to eat all the popcorn. Can we, we go, go to class now? now? Yeah! Sorry, have load. What did I use to get here again? Kinetic energy. Write that up. Okay. We're, We're going, going to get a coffee. coffee. We can't lose energy news. Our, Our teachers, teachers are on television. Energy news. Dun, 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 dun. Energy news. <laughs> Can I have a cocoa coffee? What does that have to do with energy? Oh, sorry, that is. Get a liquid to boiling point, get a gas to cool, get a liquid to freezing point, get a solid.
We are here to explain about density. Density is about how tightly packed the molecules are. See how here the maple syrup at the bottom is, has more dense than the water. The water has more dense than the cooking oil. The cooking oil is, has the least dense. For example, take this book. If I dropped it, it would fall because it has more dense than a piece of paper. A piece of paper has more dense has less density, so it will go down slower. The molecules in something very dense are packed together, like this. And in something not very dense, they're very far apart. The puppet, this is Professor Jesse. We are here to explain about density. Density is Change. A chemical change. A chemical change. 